Yeah, I think uh, we're almost uh, ready to go again. I think we have some new faces in, some other people left. Happy to continue here with our second block, pop culture. Yeah, we need to talk about tattoos. Woohoo! <laughs> now, some of you might know me a little bit or might have guessed I'm probably the least probable person in this room to ever get a tattoo. But hey, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching full midlife crisis just about now, so you never know. If there's anyone who might turn me, it would be the one and only Morrison Schiffmacher <laughs> on stage with our very own Richelle Rondel. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. It's fucking lelijke tatoeages. Alles wel leuk en eigenlijk hoe gekker, hoe beter. Want dan heeft iemand echt een beetje een, zijn brein erin gestopt. Ze heeft erover nagedacht of die heeft er een gek verhaal aan gebonden. Nu gaan we. Ja. Weer zitting? Ja. Weer oké. Is mijn mic on? Or ja? No. It's on. Alright, perfect. Yes? Yours too? Can everyone hear Morrison? Hear me? <laughs> yes, okay, Okay, good. great. So, welcome. So glad you're here. Thank you. Thanks um, for having me. First question to break the ice. What is the strangest tattoo you ever did? <laughs> well, that's a question that I get asked a lot. But, yeah. Um, I never really had like a super crazy one. I had this girl that wanted like a tiny screw on her arm and I never really... I'd never really do the Miami Ink thing, like, why are you getting this and oh, yeah. how? And, but mm -hmm. I asked her, and she was like, uh, her, uh, her parents' house got uh, burglared, or like there were like burglars in her house, and they kind of put her and her mom in the closet, and they what? tied her around. Yeah, this is a weird story. Okay. And um, they shot her dad, and then she found a little screw in the... Um, in the closet that she could tie open the, oh, shit. the rope with and she was able to save her dad and call oh. the cops. So I always thought that that was like a weird story. That's a really crazy story. <laughs> okay. And it was just out of the random, like I was just tattooing her, a super sweet little girl. And she came up and with this story. And the whole shop was shook. Everyone was like, what, what is going <laughs> what? on? Yeah. You are a hero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's a good ending to yeah. a really crazy story. Um, and have you ever said no to a tattoo or? Well, yeah, I, I actually say no a lot to people <laughs> because I feel like nowadays because it's so in the social media and everyone is getting it, yeah. that certain people are not supposed to get tattooed, but they want to get tattooed because mm -hmm. they see it everywhere. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can tell from talking to them that they don't really know what they want. Yeah. We even have people saying like, can I laser it in a few years? No. Like, that's, that's not that's a not reason to get tattooed, you know? <laughs> we had a guy yesterday, he was like, Yo, know, I got this last week, but I don't like it, so I'm gonna get it lasered. And we're like, why? He just spent like he spent like a thousand bucks on it, so I was like, oh, so what a waste of, of money. It? Yes, yeah. it is. That's so weird. Okay. Uh, well, I also got a tattoo from your dad. Of yeah. Your dad is Hank Schiefmacher. Yeah. Um, what was it like growing up surrounded by in the whole tattoo world? That kind of stuff. It's it's the only thing I know. So for me, it's it's my life. But I. It's crazy. Yeah. It's been crazy. It's been, it's been super fun. But tattoos has become such a normal now, so it's not very extra anymore. Yeah. But growing up as a little kid and then having your dad picked up, pick you up from school all tattooed and yeah. he would bring like a Maori ch chief to pick us up with fully facial tattoos <laughs> and everyone's like, <laughs> Who is this? what is this? <laughs> and then... At first, I always thought, like, this is pretty intense, like, what people see. Yeah. But, and I always felt like a little 
like a family like folder, yeah. like a little like a <laughs> weird family that everyone always thought like. Hmm. Yes. But later on, I super started to realize how cool and how like you learn so much cultures, especially yes. from my dad because he had the tattoo museum. Oh yeah. And I've he knows so one. much about everything, so you grow up learning about all these tribes and yeah. about Western tattooing, and it makes me feel super rich in my knowledge. Yeah, super that's actually cool. very interesting. Yeah. Love it. Um, so, how did you practice? Did your did your dad taught you, or how did you? Well, well, when me and my sister were little ones, we made like a cool drawing that my dad really liked. He was like, "You guys could tattoo it on us." Yeah. So, we've always kind of tattooed. I did my first tattoo when I was like three. Really? <laughs> it's not <laughs> my best move. tattoo, but it's <laughs> it's like a little scribble, and. Huh. Um, so we would always, every time we make a cool drawing, we were allowed to tattoo it. So once I was um, 16. On him? On or him or on my stepmom or like friends okay. of my dad. Mm -hmm. And then when I was 16, I was in high school and I was in like this artsy kind of school and I was just drawing the yeah. whole time. And it kind of kicked me out of school because <laughs> I didn't do anything. They loved me. They were like, we love Morrison. She's super sweet. She's super cool. You know, like she, but she does nothing comes but to drawing. school, but she does nothing <laughs> but drawing. Yeah. And that was cool, but that didn't work. So I got kicked out of school for drawing too much. Oh. And then I, um, my dad was opening a shop with uh, Tico Feltun, like his old apprentice. Yeah. And uh, I, I got like, I was allowed to apprentice over there. So that, that's when I started. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of start with tattooing all your friends. Yeah. And at that age, when you come home to their parents' house, all the parents hate you because you <laughs> tattooed their 16-year-old son or something. So no parents really liked me. <laughs> but after that, like, uh, slowly you come into customers or you hear, like, I have a little bit of luck of, with my last name that people were like, oh, yeah. I would love to have one of your first tattoos. Yes. So that's how, how you kind of get into it. Okay. Nice. I like it. Um, so we're actually here because you do design, we do design, and it's a whole different world, but it actually overlaps a bit because yeah. uh, people uh, come to you to ask for a design, but they also come to us to make a design for their brand. Yeah. Um, so have you noticed any particular trends? You know, that like uh, a long time ago it was all tribal, yeah. and now it's like more butterflies. Well, I, I so. the other week I saw this meme made like the, the white white boy tattoo from the 90s and you see the tribal and then yeah. the white boy tattoo from now and it's all these silhouettes of trees and yeah. that's what you see a and lot clouds and stuff yeah you yes. see a lot of there was this phase of the clouds and the angels and all the like i call it like the soccer player mm -hmm. tattoos like <laughs> david beckham did a lot for the yeah. tattoos but he was an actual Tattoo influencer. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. So, and that was, but that's kind of fading right now. People are getting less clouds and less stars yeah. and angels. And now it's getting like these silhouettes of forests or like palm trees. Oh, yeah. More nature I've type of that. tattoos. Yeah. Okay. Well, it changes. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, actually, I have a question to all of you. Who in the room has got a tattoo? I want to see hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's actually a lot. And how many of you want to get a tattoo? More, more. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a lot. Okay. Um, so about the, about the uh, design again, um, because wh where do you get your inspiration? Is that also on the street or maybe in advertising or marketing? It, it, yeah, it could be from anything. I always tell customers too, like if you see something on a t-shirt or like a piece of fabric or your mom's curtains or something, like bring yeah. it. Yeah. And we can make something from that. So you can find, I like that more than that people go on like Pinterest and then pick out a and tattoo from somebody something. else. Yeah. So you can get it from anywhere. But the tattoo history is so big yeah. that you can go through it. And then, like I said, my dad has such a big collection. Yes. So I can go through it, take some pictures, yeah. redraw certain stuff. And just make That's why I don't really, like I, I love to draw on it, but I don't really like to draw like a heart with a banner anymore because it, They've been made so many times. Like yeah. I would rather use those instead of using my design because I'm like, who am I compared to these yeah. bigger tattooers? I can imagine. Okay, so about uh, design in advertising, there is like um, we 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 often hear that robots are going to take over our jobs, and in the future there's no jobs for anyone anymore because they're all robots. Um, so I saw this thing online, and I actually want to show you because I thought it was really insane. It's yeah. a short video. Okay, yeah, here. Yeah.
So to me, that looked insane. What do yeah. you think of it? Well, it, if you if you can already tell that half of the lines are already kind of falling out of yeah, it. Yeah, I saw and that. The whole thing about um, it's funny because we tell customers sometimes because they want such a perfect tattoo. Yeah. We tell them like we're not robots. Yeah. You know, we're like we're humans. We <laughs> kind of make can do it. a little mistake in there and not really like you can obviously see it, but yeah. there's. For me, the charm of a tattoo is that it's man-made and that it has a little, I feel like a little mistake in there or like not a perfect straight line gives it gives a tattoo balls. Because yeah. it shows it that the person has confidence to tattoo and that it goes in a certain flow. Yeah. If you do it super perfect, it kind of gives that. More personality. It's just a perfect tattoo. Yes. I, that's For some people love that. For me, it's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. And with that, you can already tell, like, if I'm tattooing you and I can feel with my hands that you're getting cold or start sweating, I know that you could you're faint, not okay. you know, I could yeah. stop with yeah. a machine like that. I feel like you can't really so measure that. And plus, it was just in there and it goes straight, you know how and much that stop. hurts. Yeah. Like when we do a line, we do a line, and you kind of get out of it and you go in, yeah. kind of to give that you pain measurement. Yeah. 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 So that I don't know. It's fun. I guess it's, it's funny if you're like super socially awkward. You don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah, then. <laughs> so for that's the, cool. That's the only thing people. I think that's super cool about it. But no, <laughs> it's weird. It's kind of like a 3D printer. Yeah. So uh, as far as your opinion goes, I also collected a few uh, celebrity tattoos for yeah. you to uh, judge. Yeah. So we're going through that right now. <laughs> Perfect. So the first one we have is Rihanna. Yeah, I think the story behind this is that she got the hand tattoo and then immediately covered it. And that's so bad. Yeah. Because the one that she had, my dad actually has this tattoo on his hand. And this yeah. tattoo is from Samoa. With his needle and stick, yeah. right? Yeah. And this is a very old, old tattoo from Samoa. And they all mean little things. As you can see at the top, those are little birds. And yeah, if you're out on sea, yeah, this one. these are all little birds. And um, Samoan and Polynesian people are the best navigators of the world without having any computers yes. or anything. So they use nature. <laughs> and you see the little birds, that's, if you're on sea and you're far from, the, from land, and yeah. you see a certain bird, that means and it that guides you're, you the way. you're getting closer yes. to, to like yeah. land. Okay. So all these things mean a lot of little things in there, and it's, it's super pretty. I don't get it why she covered it. It doesn't look bad when she got over it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny because Rihanna, is now the person that everyone gets yeah, it's tattooed. Yeah, a trendsetter. Everyone got the little yeah, the under the girl tattoo. And yeah, I did all Rihanna's tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna <laughs> Bieber, <laughs> everyone. <Copycats>. Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one, it's actually a Dutch one for the international people. And it's he has like a Mayan calendar type of. Yes, thing on that's Andre Hazes, the son of. Interesting combination <laughs> <laughs> to be like a Dutch singer and have like a Mayan back piece. It is. What do you think of it? It's actually not. Bad. It looks really good. I like that it's bold. It's readable. You can see it. Mm -hmm. It's. I like it. Okay. I like it. Talking about Justin Bieber, oh. <laughs> he also has a whole chest full. I don't know what Bieber is doing because <laughs> Bieber has so much money and it's all new money, so he has the money <laughs> to get like the best <laughs> tattooers. Yeah, it's it's kind of a mess, don't you think? It's it is a mess. <laughs> it's super, and and that's that's the thing. I feel like, and it's with a lot of like younger kids, they want to collect this whole. Yeah. I used to like Mario when I was, you know, and I, I want a tattoo. Like, if you look at Ed Sheeran's arm, it's just like a mess of all these things that he probably really? used to like as a kid. Oh. It's like a Mario and a mushroom. It's and kind a of dish. a trip down memory lane for him. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it, I mean, it could have done so much better, Beaver. Yeah. I would okay. love to tattoo him, though. It would be cool. Maybe we can <laughs> connect you. Okay, so the last one. This is really funny. Did you hear the story yeah, about this? It's amazing. Uh, Ariana Grande it. got a Japanese tattoo, and the actual meaning of this tattoo is barbecue grill. <laughs> but she thought it was said, said Seven Rings, right? Yeah, or Seven something? Rings, because her new album was called Seven Rings. Perfect. And then. Well, the, what the thing is that. I think this happens a lot, right? Yeah, I've heard that people got uh, something in, 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 in Chinese or something and said uh, supermarket <laughs> or something. I think that's cool. Like, she should, I don't know if she's keeping that tattoo. But she actually expanded it and made it worse <laughs> oh. because it now says barbecue grill fingers or something like that and, and then a heart. So Well, the only thing is, is that this part is just completely bullshit because it's, this stuff fades away yeah, and it's it so painful to it's get that tattoo. Yeah. 
So yeah, yeah, you have it. Kind of fades away, so you have to go over it a few times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can we do one more? Or one more. One more. Okay. okay, so then we have this one. This is the lead singer Adam Levine from Maroon Five. Yeah. Well, he's not badly tattooed. He just collects. I feel like his arms were older stuff, and yeah. later on he got all that stuff on his stomach, and that already kind of looks good. Yeah, I like the the middle part. It's just a combination. He's kind of tattooed like a tattooer, like a mix of all sorts of styles. Yeah. My dad actually tattooed him. Oh, he really? Like a heart that says oh. mom, but if he turns around and says whoa. Oh, yeah, of course. Something like that, or whoa, or and then same. mom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my head. Okay, so I actually want to see everyone this. This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> what? But this is Cheryl Cole, and she's a singer from Girls Aloud. Uh, and this actually was a cover-up, but I think she overdid it. Yeah. <laughs> we always tell people when they want to cover up, like, it's, it's got to be a little bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> she super got trapped. <laughs> and she just got her whole butt That's tattooed. That's humongous. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah. So, uh, this, this was it? This was it. Yeah, I have to drag <laughs> you off stage. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for being here and thank you for uh, chatting with me about tattoos and design. Thank you. I liked thank it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Everybody, give it up for Morrison Chipmacher. <laughs> thank you. Brilliant.